Have you ever washed your hair with pig fat? We have, and we're about to tell you all about it. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I'm Ben, this is Lacey, and we are here to talk to you about a new product we found that we're super stoked about and is called Perma Earth. And they sell shampoo and conditioner and other hair care products, all based on lard and tallow. Pig fat, buttercream, all the things that I never would have guessed I would put in my hair. And I have to say, I like it. We have struggled looking for good hair care products since starting more of a non-toxic journey, which has been around eight, eight years. And it's, it's a been time. a struggle finding something that actually doesn't leave your hair feeling gross or limp. And one that actually works, that doesn't feel like it strips. And it was always kind of more of Lacey's journey than mine because my hair, I've always kept really short and it didn't really bother me too much. Um, but now that I'm growing my hair out, I started to notice how dry and kind of frizzy and dead it was. So when I came across the brand Perma Earth, I got super excited because they make all of their soap out of animal fats and they use all natural ingredients, no synthetics or anything like that. So I got super excited and knew that we had to give them a try. So we ordered a whole bunch of their soaps. They recommended doing the unscented ones first because there's no extra scents or fragrances or anything like that in them, just really clean and simple. We got the buttercream and then the milk and honey, which is, yeah, as it says, it has milk and honey. The honey is just an extra added ingredient for moisture, right? For moisturizing your hair. They also have an egg yolk shampoo, uh, which I'm actually really excited to try. It was out of stock though when we ordered, so. We didn't get any of that, but that we will be trying in the future. At first, I was a little put off by the bars because I think it would be hard to, sh to shampoo your hair with bars and not the li you know, liquid that I'm used to, but I don't know. Maybe it'll be easy as we go and I'll, I'll give it a shot, but it's worth it for, trying to, for finding good hair care and good shampoo that can clean your hair without you know, stripping it of essential oils and actually help moisturize and put nutrients back into your hair. I've always been fond of bars or like the idea of having a bar shampoo mainly because I've heard great things about it. I just had never found a brand that didn't have a bunch of the fragrance in it. So I definitely when you shared this brand, I was kind of like, okay, I'll, I wouldn't mind. I don't mind the bars. I'll, I'll see how it works. But I definitely laughed because you're like on an animal based. I found an animal based hair care system and I'm just like, why not? Everything else has worked for us. So why not just like give it a go? That's right. We needed to find something. I wasn't in love with the products we had been using that were still cleaner, but just not. I mean, my hair felt like it was just breaking. So we got shampoo, conditioner, and then we also got a couple of they have a leave in conditioner spray here and then this the oil. this is a styling spray um, we also got a hair uh, oil treatment which we don't have with us but that's okay um, so we got those things because so we wanted to try it all out and kind of do the whole system as Lisa said she wanted to commit to fully giving it all a try and seeing if it worked because it's like if you leave one part out and then you know maybe it doesn't work out or doesn't turn out how you like it you kind of just abandon the whole thing and you know, you don't see if it works. So it's like we wanted to commit and really give the, the whole system a try um, instead of just kind of half committing and then not getting the results. Yeah, so if you're looking for shampoo that is clean, non-toxic, if you're tired of all the chemicals stuff that's out there, if your hair is dry, brittle, unruly. I don't know, maybe this will work for you and maybe it will work for us. So follow us along. They say that usually people go through a detox process, especially if they've been using, you know, traditional mainstream shampoo that's more synthetic and chemical laden. Um, and so it's kind of getting rid of all those toxins, getting your hair used to the uh, natural shampoo. We haven't been using heavily stuff like that for a while. So, um, we don't know kind of how we're, how it's going to go for us, but we're going to do we're going to aim to do the seven to ten washes and kind of see how it goes. Which is back to back, like it's seven to ten washes, but either yeah. one to two at washes least once a day. a day. Yeah. So it's pretty much ten seven to ten days, if not less, or potentially more, depending on where your hair is at. 
All right, you guys, so I am about to wash my hair for the first time with the Perma Earth. We are doing the, the unscented buttercream, and I'm excited to get it all lathered up and share how it feels after the first wash. Oh my gosh, this is so crazy. It lathers like wild once it starts. Oh my gosh, is it like soaping like crazy? This is so fun! Lathered up. Is that a great person? I thought it used too much. It's not super like hard to brush through and it feels super soft on the bottom. The only thing is with the hair oil treatment that I did, I wonder if it's gonna, if I wash it out enough on my oil. Like it feels oily up here, just where I did that hair treatment. All right, you guys, it is chilly Sunday morning. I'm gonna go give this shampoo a try for the first time want to wash my hair <laughs> my crazy hair i'm super excited to try this lard soap hopefully uh helps my hair not be so crazy just gives it some health and vibrancy back i have to say well washing my hair that was like the soap just felt so good in the hair. It felt so enriching and just smooth and not like any other shampoo I've ever used. Like, I don't know, like scent shampoo usually feels like slimy and kind of oily. I don't know, but this was just like fluffy and it just felt like nourishing to my hair and even my hands. Like just, that was the first thing I noticed. And yeah, it didn't just felt really good in the hair. My hair's been my hair's very dry and whenever and I've been reluctant to grow it out because the last time I grew it out when I was a teenager to like 10 inches, it just like puffed up to a big afro. <laughs> really tight and curly. So what I'm hoping is this will bring life and moisture and some heaviness back into the hair. So it's not just frizzy and fluffing and that maybe that weight will at least pull it down so my hair doesn't just go up. But we'll see, so far, first wash, I'm liking it. So we just ended up kind of skipping through. We realized we didn't really need to do the detox because we've been using rather clean shampoo and conditioner for a while now, even though it wasn't like the best and it wasn't doing wonders for our hair. But it was, you know, it was getting us by and going, doing, getting our hair clean. As we went through, we realized probably after the third wash or so that we didn't need to do the seven. You can have one afterwards, okay? Just wait, please. Yeah. Welcome to filming in an RV yeah. with kids. Yeah. All right, so I will just share a little bit about mine. So I went in talking with the owner, Mariah, when we first talk, we were talking on the phone, like, what do we do? How do we start? And they give you instructions. You can cut out whatever you want, but I thought for sure I'd have to go through like that seven to 10 washes. And about day three, I realized like my hair wasn't greasy. It didn't feel weird. So I messaged her, I'm like, can I stop? Like I wanted to make sure. And so my washing ended on day three. And then I just, the main part is knowing. She's never washed her hair since. I've never washed my hair since. <laughs> So that was kind of cool. And she did say like, some people will go through it regardless of whatever shampoo that they're using. And some people won't regardless of the shampoo that they've been using and the conditioner that they've been using. Yeah. So and she also said it was like dependent on if they were actually washing correctly, right? I think so. Like making sure that you did it for long enough, that you got it really sudsy and foamy. You know, I mean, you just saw in the video that, how yeah. much su like half yeah. the suds just suds up. Yeah, like it almost seems like too much. Yeah, I feel like it's a waste and I'm like, oh my gosh, even today, I washed my hair today. 
because we're rocking the natural curls now with the fits health healthy i got a good haircut and yeah. this shampoo has been these products have been incredible for curly hair like my hair feels so healthy um that we're just we're learning to re-rock the curls yeah. especially in the humidity yeah. yeah the humidity is fun i mean i i don't know about you i think you like them a lot but i personally really love the soap so far um when i first used it like i just it felt so good in my hair and on my head and it just was like soft and foamy and creamy and it felt like my hair was like yelling and screaming in joy like oh this is your like, hair has had a huge transformation yeah like, because like my hair was very dry and the look of it and everything poofy and that's kind of what i was hoping is that it would bring some life back into my hair uh, with the humidity it definitely gets like frizzy and big um but i've noticed with the shampoo and the conditioner that it just it gives it some i don't know what do you call it life life well it's like your curls are actually curling like even when we put up all of us have curly hair just the level of curl and even with like emery's hair and parker's hair like the life is coming back that's the way to say it for yeah. sure like the curls are coming back and it just looks pretty like yeah. it just looks like it has life again. But um, how was how was your experience with like it compared to? Don't get it in your eyes. Other shampoos. <laughs> no. At this point, I was kind of like, let's just see what it does. The idea of lard, the idea of those fats, like I know that they're so healthy. And really reading even on the website that they have about the stories of women, what did they use in the day when they had hair down to the ground? So like, you know, it was exciting to read that. So. My first experience, or my experience so far has been, I love the suds. I love knowing how clean it feels, yet it doesn't feel stripped. I guess in one way, it's like right when you first finish the shampoo, you're kind of like, oh my gosh, it feels almost sticky. Like well, you, this is it. like literally the definition of squeaky clean. Like this yeah. is like the first time I like, oh, this is what it means to be squeaky clean. Because yeah. it's like, ur, 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 yeah. ur. like you can hear it. <laughs> like it's just so clean because there's no oils or anything like it's just like I don't know. Yeah. but i've had that in the past but my hair was also dry at the bottom hmm. so then utilizing for curly hair especially the conditioner bar which will probably last us forever because you don't need a lot of conditioner because the soap is also hydrating and gives your hair li like life yeah. I don't know, it's, it's definitely interesting. Like, I wasn't sure what to expect. I kind of had an idea that the feeling of it when it first dries, you're like, ooh, this kind of feels odd. But once it dries, you're, it doesn't feel off. It doesn't feel bad. I think we found the soap that we're going to be using for a while. Mm -hmm. um, I really love that it's animal-based, that it's all clean. There's no extra, like, filler ingredients and things like that. Well, and the ones that we have are the unscented ones. So there yeah. are ones that have essential oils, and there are ones that have fragrance. They wanted to be able to give that to everyone. Yeah, we just chose to do that unscented, very, very minimal. Right. Yeah, and so, yeah, and it's you know it's 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 lard and tallow and it's just full of nutrients. And I mean, this is what they used for soap, like way back in the day before petrochemicals and synthetics and all that stuff. Like this is the real deal. So we highly recommend Perma Earth for shampoo and conditioner. Um, we even got, you know, like we said, some of the other products, the leave-in conditioner, uh, the hairspray, hairspray, styling spray, which I don't know, have you had, uh, did you use it? Is it in your hair right now? No, I have been using it with Nash Burley hair, but when I've curled it, yes. And I've liked it, but it's also been humid. So yeah, I haven't been able to give it like a full run. Yeah. So maybe we'll we'll talk a little more about that. Maybe in a, a future video, we'll, we'll do an update on how it's going after a couple months of using it and where our hair is at, and maybe when my hair is a lot longer. Uh, but if you guys want to check this out and learn more about Perma Earth, go to their website. The link is below. This is an affiliate link, so we'll get some kickbacks for sharing it with you guys. And every purchase helps support our channel, which we greatly appreciate. We're going to continue to use it ourselves because we feel that. Um, it's healthy and good and viable for our family and for the environment and for the earth. And uh, we definitely feel like it's necessary to stop using synthetic petrochemical products uh, throughout the industry. And one thing that's really cool, I didn't mention about Perma Earth, is their packaging is actually not plastic. It is a biodegradable uh, film. I can't remember exactly what it is, but it's all natural, so it's not plastic and you don't have to throw it away. You can actually compost it and 
that is really awesome. More companies need to start doing stuff like that. So anyway, with that being said, thanks for watching. We hope that uh, if you try Perma Earth, that you really enjoy it and that it helps change your hair and for the better, makes it more healthy. And uh, excited to give it a go. I think we said definitely for sure, like a good three months to really see how our air, hair, our hair, our hair, our, our, our hair responds to it. Yeah. All right. If you enjoyed this content, make sure to like and subscribe for future videos of who knows what. <laughs>